Hey guys, Steve Chase here. I'm going to share with you how to create purchase orders in QuickBooks Online and then convert them to bills. All right, so the first step would be to create a purchase order, you'd go to the plus new sign and select purchase order. This is certainly um, the quick and easy way to go about doing it. Um, a purchase order is going to require a vendor. So select a vendor and any information that you had in the vendor setup would pre-populate, including the email. Second thing that you'll do is fill out anything that you'd like, like the purchase date order, a PO number that you'd like to have here. Um, this will pre-populate based on the last one that you did. And then we'll need to choose either a category or an item. So a category, basically the difference is a category is going to be your entire chart of accounts okay that's fine but if you wanted to get items that will eventually show up on an invoice for customers you would need to go to the items and select the product list so it will just depend on how detailed you'd want that to be but if, if you're looking for something that's not on this list here but you've seen it before on your invoicing then go out of here let me close out of here real quick go into the products and services let's imagine that you'd want to see um, services let's say on the on the purchase order so we would need to click edit we would need to click this box here that says I purchased this item from a vendor and then basically now that's two sides by two sides I mean that this item here will show up on a customer invoice and it will show up on a vendor bill that we pay. So you've got to have that selected for that to populate. And then map the account. In other words, how would you like to see that when you're purchasing like some maybe a cost of goods sold or an expense, something of that nature that you'd like to have there. So okay. So and a preferred vendor. But that's the gist there. Okay, so let's go back to the plus new purchase order. Okay, let's go ahead and I'll show you that now we've got the services and we'll just we'll just do a thousand dollar purchase order. I'm gonna change the PO to 49-C. I'll tag it real quick to New Mexico. It's optional. All right. I would hit save. I would I would send that if I had a quick email it's like, you know, just If I had something in there for an email, just a quick example and save and send, I could email the purchase order out. Any notes here? That's that's it. Save and close. Boom. And we're good. Okay. Lastly, um, the one thing that we can do to make this a little bit better is attribute this purchase order to the customer or project. So there is a customer project that you can have, and I'll link it to the Fibonacci workstation project here. Save. Okay. All right. So let's run a couple reports here. First, we're going to run the open purchase orders report we go reports reports here just type purchase open purchase order list so we have 14,000 on the books for open purchase orders none of this is going to actually hit your books until we convert it to a bill so all of these are considered non posting non posting doesn't affect any accounts payable. If you ran the balance sheet, it wouldn't show anything that we owe these vendors. It's not until you convert them. Okay. So I'm going to open up the 49 candles here. And I'm going to simply click copy to bill. So this is when I receive an official invoice from the vendor. I look at the invoice number, I'll type that here. Imagine they sent me invoice 5002. I put the date, 
I put the terms, all that good stuff, and the full amount is going to be invoiced. If I needed to only do a partial bit, I could certainly come in here and do a partial bit here. Okay, hit save. Awesome. So now this is an official bill. At this point of time, it does affect accounts payable liability. And then I could go out and schedule that payment using Melio, which would be great, or um, another service provider that I have to make that payment there. Okay. Awesome. So if I want to see all of my open bills now, I can go to reports. There's my payables here. I can just search accounts uh, payable under the expenses and vendors. You'll see Oh, here we go. That one right there. Actually, it's under what you owe. Accounts payable aging summary. Okay. So that 49 candles is embedded in here. There's two bills for that. I can click on it and I can see, okay, we're, there's the $1,000 there from that bill that we just created there. So, um, one last report I want to share with you uh, that I like. It's uh, how to see which customers go with what purchase order. So if I go to purchase order detail, all dates, these are all the open purchase orders here. But one cool thing you can do is you can come over here to change columns and we can select the customer that it's with. And so that could be helpful here to see that, that information that it belongs to as well. All right. So that's a simple way to create a purchase order, then convert it to a bill, and then follow the sequence in the accounting process to closing the bill out by paying it as you get those those invoices from your vendors. Hey guys, this is Steve Chase here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.